Hello everybody, my name is Mark. Welcome to my quest guide on the Death of Chivalry. And there are no requirements for this quest other than your weapon, food, and armor. And keep in mind there will be a bank chest available later in the quest. And also make sure you have five or more inventory spots. Uh, and that's so that you can pick up some equipment at the beginning of the quest. To start the quest, go to this area right here in the Edgeville Monastery. I drew an arrow from the Edgeville Lodestone on how to get there. When you get here, talk to this guy, Sir Owen, and then you're going to go through this big, long chat options. It doesn't really matter what chat options you pick, as long as you don't pick anything that says never mind, and you keep the conversation going, you should be fine. Then you're going to get a cutscene, and then you're going to start talking to Sarah Doman, and same thing, you're going to get these chat options, and just pick chat options that keep the uh, conversation going. Eventually, you're going to get a prompt to accept the quest, and obviously accept the quest, and you're off and rolling. After you accept the quest, you are going to go get a suit of armor, and your camera angle should automatically point you in the direction where you need to go. And right here, I put a little road sign graphic so it's easy for you to see where to get the armor. And then once you get the armor, you're going to put that on, and that's going to put you in disguise so that you can get into the fort, which is where you're going to go next. After you put on the armor, you are going to talk to Sarah Doman and pick the chat option that says, yes, teleport us to the Black Knight's Fortress. After Sarah Doman teleports you, you're going to automatically walk towards this gate. When you arrive at the entrance, click on this gate to go inside and this guard is going to start talking to you and you are going to get a set of chat options. And you want to pick the chat options that make you sound like a nasty guy. But I am going to list the chat options that I pick as I'm going through this quest myself. After talking to that guard, he'll let you inside and then walk up here to the north. And eventually you're going to get to another guard and same thing. You want to pick chat options that make you sound like a really nasty guy. And I'm going to list the chat options that I pick as I'm doing the quest. After talking to that guard, you're going to follow this path to the north and you're going to make a left like I just did. You're going to go into this room to the northeast. You're going to go into the corner right here and you're going to try to climb the stairs. And another guard is going to talk to you. Same thing. Try to pick the chat options that make you sound really mean and nasty. And I'm listing the chat options that I'm picking as I'm going through the quest myself. After you go up to the stairs, just follow the path and walk down the hall to the south. And eventually you're going to start talking to a guy in the middle of the room. He's dressed in red. And you're going to get a set of chat options and you can just pick the chat options that I got listed here.
after talking to that guy, walk over here to the southeast and try to go up the stairs. And then you're going to talk to this guard and just pick the chat options that I got listed here on the screen. After you go up the stairs, walk up here to the north, and once again, a guard is going to stop you, and you're going to get a set of chat options. And again, I'm listing the chat options that I picked. And then after that, Sir Owen is going to knock him out from behind. And then after that, click on his body and search it, and you're going to get another set of chat options. And again, I'm listing the chat options that I'm picking. After that, keep going north and go into this room up here. And when you get in the room, go up and search this desk and you will get a journal and keep that in your inventory for now. Then after that, go up these stairs to the northeast and uh, you're going to get into a chit chat with Sir Owen and pick the chat options that I got listed here on the screen. Now you're going to go down these stairs and first search this shelf and you'll get a piece of chalk and then open the wardrobe, search it and you'll get a letter and then down below search the shelf of candles and you'll get some candles. Then click on this use grimoire up here and you'll get a set of chat options. Pick the one that says pick up grimoire and you will get a book in your inventory. Now go back up the stairs and click on the circle to repair it. Then you're going to click on each of the candles and you're going to replace those with the red candles that you got. Now you're going to walk around and light each of the three candles. Okay, this next part, go ahead and read the grimoire book in your inventory. And when you click on it, this picture is going to pop up. And on the left side is a picture of the circle and the three candles that you just lit. On the right side are some words. And you'll notice there are lines pointing from each of the three candles to the words. And you might want to write these words down because you have to say these words as you're doing the ritual over each one of these candles. And you can open the book and check it during the ritual. I just think it's much easier if you have the words already written down, then you don't even have to bother with all that. Okay, now you're ready to begin the ritual and what you do is you click on each candle to begin chanting over it and then you'll get some chat options and that will tell you what words to say and I, what I did is I made a screenshot of the words in my PowerPoint as you just saw me do and I started from the far left candle and I worked my way clockwise and as you're watching me do this ritual throughout the video you'll see me pop up my PowerPoint screenshot that I made to kind of help me out real quick. But you'll notice that there is a chat option on the bottom. If you want, you can check the grimoire and you can do it that way. And I don't know if it matters what order you go in. You are free to do it your own way or you can just do it the way that I'm doing it.
Once you finish the ritual, this big red portal is going to show up, and this is where you're going to have a chance to go to a bank chest, which you will want to do because you're going to want to get some food, and also you're going to want to take off that armor that you put on in the beginning of the quest, and you're going to store everything you have, and then get your good armor, whatever level you are, and put that on because once you go into the portal, you're going to be doing a lot of fighting and combat. The bank chest is down the stairs in the upper right corner of the room. Now you're ready to enter the portal, so go ahead and click on the portal and click the chat option that says enter the portal. Now you are going to watch a cutscene and you are welcome to sit here and watch the cutscene or you can skip ahead to the next part. When the cutscene is over, you are going to be fighting three knights, and you have to kill all three knights. They are very easy to kill. I didn't have to use one single piece of food to kill them, so I am going to go ahead and cut out the rest of this fight and skip to the next part. When the knights are dead, search their bodies, and one of them will give you a key. After you get the key, click on this gate to the north to unlock it. You're going to get into a conversation with Lady Dawn, and you can pick any chat options that you want. Now you're going to search these two crates to the south. This one here, the one on the left, has some runes. It is not necessary to take those for the quest. And the crate on the right, take the handwritten message. That one is necessary for the quest. After you search the crates, go down these stairs and go in this door to the right. Then just keep walking down until Sir Owen starts talking to you. Now you're going to get a bunch of chat options. If you want, you can go through all the chat options and read through the dialogue. If not, you can just click never mind and continue on with the quest. After you do that, walk down here to the south until you get to a door and then go through the door. When you get through the door, start walking to the south until you get to Fern, and then click on her to start talking to her. I listed here all the chat options that I picked, but mainly you want to pick the chat options that say that you're ready for her, and then after that you are going to start fighting her. And she's easy to kill as well, uh, but she does have one special attack that you might want to be aware of, and I am going to edit up to the part where she does an, a special attack on me so you so that you can see how it works. And here it is right here. You see these red letters. All you got to do is step back and wait till she finishes charging. And then you can go back and fight her. And it's a really easy fight. And I'm going to go ahead and cut out the rest of this fight and skip to the next part. When you kill her, you get this short little cutscene, and then Sir Owen says a couple things to you. After that, start walking to the south down this hallway, then go down the stairs until you arrive at this square structure, whatever it is. And what it is, it's a puzzle, and there are tiles on this structure, and what you do is you click on one of the tiles, and these pictures come up, as you see me doing right here. And what you want to do is you want to find matching pairs. And there's 16 tiles in all, 
which means you got to find eight matching pairs. And if you fail or you get it wrong, after so many tries, the puzzle resets and you have to start all over. But the good news is that the pictures never move. They're always in the same spot. So you can just keep trying even if the puzzle resets and eventually you'll get it because there are eight pairs. The picture never moves. It's a memory game. And uh, just do that. And then after that, then you can move on to the next part. After you solve the memory game, then click on Breach Blood Ward and you're going to get a set of chat options. I got those listed right here. Then you are going to get a cutscene. It's kind of long. You are free to watch it here in this video if you want, or you can just skip to the next part. Now walk to the south down this hallway until you get to Dawn and then talk to her. You will get a set of chat options. I got those listed right here. Now you are going to get another cutscene. Again, you are free to watch it in this video or you can skip to the next part. Okay, this fight here, still pretty easy, but I did have to use three pieces of food to kill him. And you're going to be killing two black zombie knights, and also Sir Owen starts attacking you. And pretty much all I have to say about this fight is that I killed the black zombie knights first, because they're the weakest monsters. And then I saved Sir Owen for the last. That way I only have to fight one at a time. Uh, quicker than if I were to try to kill Sir Owen and then I have to fight all three of them for a long time and take more damage but still pretty easy fight I only had to use three pieces of food and I'm going to uh, edit on and and move on to the next part okay now you're gonna go to the north and when you get to the gate you might want to watch the next part of the video before going inside because once you go inside that's gonna start the boss fight and it might be good for you to see how I kill the boss before uh, going in the door but if you feel good and confident then go ahead and go inside and let the games begin okay here we are you went through the door and the boss fight has now begun and yes you are going to be fighting against dawn she is the girl that you set free earlier in the quest and let her out of her cage so that's a lot of fun you try to help somebody out you let them out of their cage and later on they try to kill you but that's the way it goes so the question is how do we kill this boss well there are three things that you want to be aware of the first thing are these purple hazes that she attacks you with and you want to avoid those at all costs because if you get hit by one of the purple hazes you will take a lot of damage and then you'll have to eat up all your food and maybe you'll run out of food and die right so we don't want that so avoid the purple hazes at all costs second thing to be aware of are her special attacks and the attacks don't do any damage but they are highly annoying and what happens is she will say something like get back and then you get pushed out of her area like what you see right here what just happened to me that's her special attack and then she tries to 
hit you with the purple haze. And I have a technique that I use that I'll show you here in a minute so that you can get through this fight without too much trouble. And then the third thing that you want to be aware of are these skeletons that show up two or three times throughout the fight and they try to kill you. And uh, Dawn will summon these monsters, I think, two times or three times when she loses like a third of her hit points or something, I'm not sure. And during that time, Dawn is invulnerable, so you have to kill the skeletons before you can even fight and try and go back to killing Dawn. And so I'm going to show you the technique that I use right now that got me through this fight. Okay, the main idea of this technique that I use is I rush in and start attacking her from one of the four sides. And eventually when she special attacks me and pushes me back like what just happened, I will step around to the left or the right like what you see me doing and I will rush in and start attacking her again. What I don't do is I go back in the same way that I just got special attack because if you do that and you start attacking her and then she pushes you back again with the special attack, you may end up getting pushed back into one of the purple hazes, one of those purple balls. And remember, every time she special attacks you, she fires those purple hazes at you. So the easy way to avoid that is every time you get special attacked, just step around to the left or the right like what you see me doing here. And I had a pretty easy time with this fight by using this technique. The second thing I do, and this is for when the skeletons appear, is I will run behind a coffin and I will have the skeletons follow me and then I will attack the skeletons one at a time. And this part is very easy. The skeletons are not that hard to kill. Just run behind one of these coffins and Dawn cannot attack you, the boss, when you're hiding behind a coffin and just kill the skeletons one at a time and you shouldn't have any trouble uh, with the skeletons. Okay, after the fight is over and the boss is dead, and you can see that I killed the boss in the middle of one of her special attacks, then you go search her dead body and you are going to find a key, a skull, and of course the wand. Now you are going to head to the south and you are going to talk to Sarah Doman one final time and you're going to get a bunch of cutscenes with some chat options and I'm listing all the chat options that I pick for myself to get me through the rest of this quest.
Okay, congratulations, you have made it to the end of the quest. If you enjoyed this quest or found it useful, feel free to hit the like button or whatever you wish to do to show some support. And thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video. Happy runescaping and ciao.